Hiya, welcome back to my channel. Um, apologies for not uploading last week. I was away for my boyfriend's birthday, but I'm here to talk about piercings and my favorite and most cherished piercing that I have, which is my tongue web piercing. Um, if you don't know what it is, I'm just gonna come up close and show you guys. So yeah, so a tongue web piercing is basically a piercing under your tongue. There's a really thin membrane that connects your tongue, which is the main muscle, to the bottom part of your mouth. I'm not great at terminology, so apologies. So yeah, um, I just thought I'd come and talk about that piercing, and I thought I'd come and say tips and stuff. So I have a list here. If I keep looking down, this is what I'm looking at. So in terms of the process, healing, pain, changing and aftercare so process wise i've had this piercing for about two and a half years and it's never caused me any problem i got it done at the a local tattoo shop and piercer shop in town access all areas is what it is so i got that done the piercer was amazing really kind and stuff and made me feel at ease did i get it there i think i got it there it's either there or another place called blue banana I can't remember, it's one of the two. <laughs> it's the only two I ever go to. So yeah, I got them done there and yeah, so the process, I went in quick and easy, spur of the moment. I wanted something um, quite conservative because you can't really tell I have it unless I actually tell you about it or if I show you or show somebody. No one really knows, you can't hear it in my mouth. It's not clenching or hitting my jaw or anything. Best thing I have ever got done. Um, in terms of, in terms of the process, so yeah, I went in, I booked, I didn't even book in, I think it was when, spur of the moment, I wanted to get it done. I was obviously researching and watching videos, but I thought I want to do it, it was a Saturday, I wanted to do it then. I went and obviously paid, it was quite inexpensive, about £30, 25 to 30 And yeah, so I had to hold my mouth, well, my tongue, or the, or the roof of my mouth, like, hmm? And then the, what the, I'm going to come closer, what the piercer did was just obviously get a thin needle and just pushed it through and then there was obviously the piercing at the end of it so he put it in and then that way he sort of like pulled it through. The whole process like, so in terms of, I'm looking down, <laughs> in terms of the pain, it was literally like the sharpest pinprick ever but as soon as like after he'd done that, I literally was pinching myself anyway. And this, when he did it, I didn't feel a thing really. And I have the worst pain threshold. So yeah, out of pain, I'd score it a 2.5. But there's no no after pain really afterwards. It's pretty okay. Compared to some which are really like throbbing. So that was good. Um, In terms of healing, healed very quickly. Like I said, I only had quite a sore mouth compared to like tongue piercings and other mouth piercings which can last longer it was only about a week or two and that's literally with like the dull pain as well like it was quite quick because the mouth heals really quickly as well what i did in terms of aftercare is aftercare <laughs> i gurgled with a lot of um salt and water but not too often just enough enough like once a day just to keep it clean um, I didn't obviously don't pick at it or anything just leave it to heal and it'll, it'll fly by the whole thing flew by um, I've not in term, there's changing I haven't changed my piercing ever I like because a lot of people either get the bar compared to the ring obviously I have a ring I don't think I'd ever change it to a bar just because I have once tried to clean it and then the ball comes out and I'm like, oh, so I've pushed it back in, but I've never bothered to change it. I just like the aesthetics of a ring. Um, I know that one thing to be not aware of, um, one thing to be aware of actually, is that over time, because obviously in terms of cleaning it, just make sure that you're aware that there is going to be a buildup of plaque just because it is your mouth. And what plaque is, is like, unless you don't know, unless you do know, sorry. It's just like white stuff 
I'm gonna have to Google it or something. It's just like, it's it's not nasty. I'm gonna Google it one sec. What is plaque? I know what it is. I know it's in your teeth. So yeah, plaque is a soft, sticky film that builds on your teeth and contains millions of bacteria. So yeah, that, that happens. So it grows, especially along, along the bar or the ring for me. And I just, it's quite easy. I know some people would want to like, probably get it professionally cleaned or whatnot. When I'm brushing my teeth, when I see a bit build up, I just like use my fingers and just remove it or get some, get some um, God, dental floss and use a bit of it. But I'm, or when I go to the dentist, they'll usually just scrape it off and stuff. But it's so easy to take off. You shouldn't be alarmed or anything. Um, yeah, that's in terms of aftercare. Obviously, if you notice anything different or scary, always go to your piercer, a tattoo, or even the doctor if you think it's infected. I am not a medical profession. And also in terms of the pain, I am the biggest wuss ever. But like I said, if you probably just think of something else or you just pinch your finger or pinch your skin while something's happening, of course, make sure you've hydrated and you've eaten and stuff like that. Nothing wearing, not wearing anything too tight that you're like restricting your oxygen. You should be fine. But yeah, best thing ever. And I'd recommend getting it done. But that's it really. I'll end off here because I want to keep it short and sweet. And hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.